name is George Santa Cruz and uh, today I'll be showing you a way uh, to resize uh, images and I know that doesn't sound uh, exciting but it's a really it's a different way to do it and uh, not only that we're gonna be using the actions tools to record all the action applied to an image and with that uh, we could apply it to a bunch of 100 200 images without doing it manually and this could be very useful for let's say like slideshows or just images that you want to make them a certain size and with a certain characteristic and without doing it manually to to every single one so let's open an image first and you'll see what I'm talking about so okay okay we're gonna be on the random uh, folder for now you could just just so you follow me and I have approximately seven pictures right here so I'm just gonna select a picture and open it so let's open this and this picture is pretty big in size it's like three megabytes I think so, somewhere around there so it's a pretty big picture so here we have it okay so first of all we're gonna click on on a create new action we're gonna rename this action to resize and save okay and you saw as soon as I click OK or record uh, all the th all the actions that I applied to this image will be recorded and logged on here like under the resize and save uh, little uh, triangle right here folder okay so what we're gonna do is resize this image so we're gonna go to file automate and fit image okay and you could pretty much use any size uh, I'm just gonna leave it at 600 by 600 pixels and what this is gonna do is constrain the image proportionally uh, so w which means that uh, the image will not be distorted and it will be and it will re retain its uh, its figure yeah without making one side bigger than the other or just making it look awkward so so we're just gonna leave it at that okay you could you could use like again like I said you could use any 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 size any width any height okay so I'm just gonna press OK and as you can see right here uh, the action has been has been written under this resize and save uh, little folder right here so I'm gonna open this and just make it actual pixel so that's a pretty good size now we're gonna save this picture on a specific uh, folder so within the folder where we have all our all of our pictures we're gonna make another folder okay we're gonna name this resize new okay click on it and press save okay I'm just gonna wait for the little here it is we're gonna leave it at medium quality and click OK and as soon as I do that you can see the that the uh, save um, action has been applied to our main action so as you can see right here we have the fit image which was was the uh, resizing of the image and the saving uh, right here is the JPEG. I saved that as quality seven, optimized, and in the folder that I specified, okay, which was the uh, random resize new. So all these actions have been recorded. So now we could press stop, and we could close the image, okay. So what we're gonna do is apply the actions I did to the the rest of the pictures. And the cool thing is that I don't have to do it over and over and over again. So what we're gonna do is choose the folder where all the uh, pictures are at. So they're on the random, if you remember clearly. Okay, so they're on the random. I'm just gonna press OK and make sure uh, where it says action. I have it on a uh, resize safe, which was the. Uh, I'm gonna move this over, which was the actions we've created. Okay, so once that is selected, just press OK and just relax. But that's it. You're just gonna relax and sit back and see how all your pictures are being uh, resized and saved to that folder. So as you can see right here, 
Your computer is doing all the work for you and you don't have to do anything. Just listen and see how how this works. As you can see right here, uh, the images are pretty small, but that's because it's not on the actual pixels. All right, so since this, since the images here are pretty huge, once we uh, make it fit to image, uh, they appear to be very small. But once we click on actual pixels, it'll like put them back to the uh, the actual size. So don't worry about that. And it's gonna wait until all the pictures are done so you can see the results. Okay. Okay, once we're done, all the pictures have been created. Uh, we can pretty much close all of them. Since they're, they've been saved. Oh, like what I told you. This is not the actual size. Okay. So once I press actual, actual, actual pixels, it'll go to the size that I've, um, that I've set it to. So you can just close all of them. And I'll show you what, what's the cool thing about this. Once we open, This is our actual pictures. We go to our new folder, and all the pictures are here with the uh, the settings that you had specified. So let's click on one, and as you can see, the image, the file size size has been reduced, extremely a lot, and it's really a cool thing. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and thank you for watching.